Hello all, welcome to this video on understanding the feature coexistence of BFD over bundle and BFD over logical bundle. Today we will discuss a quick recap of BOB and BLB and understand its limitation when they are used one at a time and discuss the need for their coexistence. All this just after the intro. My name is Tejas Lard. I am a technical marketing engineer in the Cisco MIGB. Let us start with a quick recap of what is BLB and BOB. BFD over bundle implements BFD per member link, whereas BFD over logical bundle implements BFD over the entire bundle interface. This is the fundamental difference between BOB and BLB. For BOB, the client is bundle manager, whereas for BLB, it's the individual routing protocols. For detailed understanding of BOB and BLB, please visit our XR Docs articles on BOB and BLB. So why do we need BLB and BOB to coexist? What are the limitations when they are used individually? So let's look into the limitations. BOB does not provide two, true L3 check, whereas with BLB, the member link failure is not detected. So to overcome these limitations, it is possible to run BOB and BLB in parallel on the same bundle interface. This provides faster convergence from BOB and it gives true L3 check from BLB. This feature is supported from iOS XR741 release across NCS540, NCS560 and NCS5500 product family. It is supported with two different modes. First one inherit and second one is the logical mode. So what is inherit and logical mode? When the inherit mode is configured, BLB will always create a virtual interface it will never form a real BFD session. Whereas in logical mode, BLB will create a real session even if BOB is on. Let us understand this better with the help of a demo. We have a router with iOS XR741. Let us verify BFD over bundle and BFD over logical bundle configurations. First one, we will configure or check the BOB configs. Now we will verify the BLB configs. After verifying both the BLB and BOB config, let us verify the BFD sessions. Before that, we will check what is the mode we have configured for BFD coexistence. For this first example, we have configured inherit mode. Let's check the BFD sessions. We can see the BFD on the bundle interface. The state is up and we have all the flags which are needed for the session to be up. We can see it is a bundle interface. We have all the member links and we also have the bundle sub interface in inherit mode. Now we will check the details of the bundle sub interface. We can see it is inherited session. In the flag session type you can see IH and it is inherited from the bundle interface that is BOB. Let us configure the logical mode now in the coexistence. Coexistence, BOB, BLB, logical. We need to configure the same on the other end router as well. So we'll configure the same on this on the remote router. The coexistence mode as logical. And we will see what is the difference in the BFD sessions. Let's verify the existing configs of BOB and BLB. We haven't changed any configs. 
so it should be the same for BOB as well as BOB, BLB. Let us check the BFD sessions. First we will check the session on the bundle interface 30. We can see the inherited mode is now disappeared. The state is up. All the flags are set but we are not able to find the 30.1 interface which is inherited. And if we check the BLB session we should be able to see real packets now and we can see the received and transmit parameters the interface bundle 30.1 received parameters the state is up and we get the BL which is BLB session we have the received parameters we have the transmitted parameters and we have the multipath session as well and we have the client which is ISIS. So from the demo we saw in inherit mode BLB sessions will simply inherit BOB session state and does not have its own state machine. So if we need direct notification of routing protocols as well as the member link convergence we need to configure BLB and BOB coexistence. For more technical details around the feature various scenarios and best practices, please visit our XR Docs article. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.